you pray by sentiments you are praying a miss for the word of god is sweet and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword passing even to the divided asunder of soul and spirit and of the joint and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart the entrance of the word of god direct light welcome to ms connect channel where you experience the unfolding of god's word through soaking worship and spirit-filled messages for your spiritual growth and upliftment i have taught extensively on fatherhood particularly but let me say this a father is beyond a man with a wife a father is beyond a man who can have children or has had children no there are many married men who are not fathers there are many procreators of children who are not fathers the hebrew word for father is the word abba the greek is the word pata and both of them mean a source sustainer protector defender in the very definition of fatherhood are the qualities of a true father lend me your attention for one minute there are four major assignments of fathers according to scripture number one is the ability to provide first for your household please listen first for your household it matters the order of priority the ability to provide first for your household and then it extends to as many who are under your care number two the ability to protect the ability to protect is the second definition of fatherhood number three the ability to mentor and create growth there is no true father without mentorship and growth fathers have the mandate under god to mentor and to allow for growth number four the fourth assignment of fatherhood is to create structures for continuity and succession continuity anything that dies with the father has stopped the man from being a true father the proof that you are a father is that those who come after you must become extensions of your legacy are we together yes it should never start and end with you except if it is evil but if it is good a good man the bible says lays up an inheritance you may want to listen to my message redefining inheritance so my tribute to every father i want to start by appreciating every man every father who has done all these or at least most of this responsible man who has provided for his household protected his household methodically mentored all within his care and is about creating a system of godliness responsibility wealth that makes for succession even when you are not here if christ tarries my salutations and my commendations to such because they are fathers indeed but let me also encourage someone by my definition now you may find out that you've fallen short of god's definition of fatherhood i still salute your courage the willingness to retrace your step and to start afresh the beautiful thing about the gift of time is that it gives you opportunity to start again Perhaps there's some father standing here and whilst you are standing, you are really feeling guilty because you have not done justice in providing for your home, even if you've prayed in tongues. You've not done justice in protecting your wife and children, protecting them emotionally, spiritually. You have created a tense atmosphere and your children dread growing in that atmosphere. You can change. Men can change. There's nothing embarrassing about the need for change. We all have had to change to become this way. And we will have to change to become the higher versions of ourselves. So while commending those who have done well indeed, fathers by this definition, let me propose to many who have fallen short of this definition to protect, to provide, to mentor, and to create a system for succession. You have the gift of life. You have the gift of a sound mind. Use it 
and begin to retrace your step within the time you have. But it's my prayer, particularly for the men in this house, that we will be noble men indeed. That God will help us to redefine fatherhood. If you believe that, say amen. amen. Father, we thank you for every father, every man in this place. And extending this prayer to the body of Christ, to as many who are connecting. In the name of Jesus, cause us all to be noble men. By every definition of nobility, we obtain the grace to be able to provide. We obtain the grace to be able to protect. We obtain the grace to be able to grow and mentor those you have put within our care. And we obtain grace to be secured enough to raise other people who become extensions of our legacy. We obtain this grace as we make commitments to remain fathers and men with nobility and excellence. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless.